cutting off less shine ever was. Never heard this expression before? It's a southern expression. I'm personally well familiar with it. I heard my grandmother and numerous other southerners say it on a number of occasions. Appalachian southerners like to bandy this one about letting it kind of roll off the tongue in a kind of rapid-fire sequence of words. Cutting off less shine ever was. This is an Appalachian southern expression which I've always found to be particularly peculiar. Cutting off less shine ever was. Five words. Let's examine this statement for a moment. First off, we have to interject the two missing words, the and that, so that cutting off less shine ever was becomes cutting the awfulest shine that ever was. Next comes the fact that awfulest doesn't even qualify as a word, at least not in the English language, but let's pretend for a moment that it does. Let's pretend that awfulest is a real word. Obviously, a derivative of the word awful, we can assume that awfulest must mean most awful or loosely translated into English, worst. Not sure at all about the cutting part or how it applies to the shine, but we can probably assume that the shine itself is referring to a fit of some type, in English anyway, and however it is that you go about cutting it exactly is beyond me, but it is apparently the worst one in history because the reference says that ever was so Cutting the awfulest shine that ever was, loosely translated into English, probably means throwing the worst fit in history. Not just a fit, mind you, but the worst one in history. Ever. Period. I'm Sir Joey. Cutting awfulest shine ever was.